Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to paint this Halloween item. Um, for this project, I used the Kimple Colors, and I purchased this bisque at wrapitup.com, which I'll show you the name of that website in a slide um, following this. So let's get started. First, you're going to want to prime the piece, and I love to use Kimple's Bisque Primer. And if you don't have that available, um, I've used Liquitex's Gesso. I don't like it as much because it's a thicker and not as easy. I really, really love Kimple's Primer. We're going to start with the witch's dress, and I'm going to coat it first of all in Kimple's Amethyst. And you'll want to do this full strength. And use the size of brush that will fit the corners. And so paint this on full strength. This is what it looks like painted full strength. And using a cloth, pull this back using soft circular motion. This is what a dress looks like pulled back and for the places that I want to highlight a little bit just make them pop. I'm going to use Kimple Sapphire. Put a little bit on a rag and just uh, gently rub over it. and then switch to a clean part of your rag and gently pull that back and it'll just brighten it up. So this is what the dress looks like um, with um, it highlighted in the blue and then I also painted the pot in an acrylic black and I'm not picky about my acrylic colors so any acrylic black that you have on hand will do. I'm going to cover up <clears throat> her hat in a rag, a clean rag, um, so that way I can touch it as I'm working and it'll stay nice and clean and I just use a ponytail holder to hold it in place. Next we're going to work on our face and Kimple does not have a yellow green color so I picked this up at my local craft store. Uh, hopefully you can find something similar. It's, a, it's called a water soluble oil color and it kind of works the same as the Kimple's um, where you can put it on and then pull it back and if you can't find it um, then just use Kimple's yellow. So on her face, I'm going to do that um, yellow green color and kind of just in all the places except any crevices like her smile, around her hairline. Then on that same brush, you don't have to clean your brush, put some of Kimple's Evergreen and then cover the rest of the face and all the crevices. Just slop it on. Okay, so this is what it looks like uh, painted in. It's very sloppy and that's okay. Don't worry about that. And then take a clean rag and start pulling back. And it will blend the colors together. 
and leave that green in the crevices. So this is what the face looks like pulled back. And then I also did her hands in Kimple's Evergreen and then pulled that back. And next using Kimple's Yellow. Just get a little bit of it on your rag, a clean spot on your rag. And then just touch the areas that you want highlighted. And then switch to a clean part of your rag. And pull that back. And it'll brighten it up. So this is what the face looks like, highlighted in yellow. And then on the hands, I did those in Kimple's Evergreen, pulled them back, and then later I'll highlight them in yellow, maybe the, you know her fingers, and then I'll paint her uh, fingernails in yellow so that they really pop. Uh, for the hair, first thing we're gonna do is, um, using Kimple's Tangerine, paint that on full strength. And then, like always, be sure to get it in all the crevices. This is what the hair looks like, painted full strength in Kimple's Tangerine. Take a rag, clean spot on your rag. Start pulling that back. Uh, you can use a Q-tip um, in this area up here. It's awfully small. Next, using Kimple's Yellow, with a little bit of it on your rag, uh, go over it, catch the edges. And this will uh, highlight her hair and make her hair pop. So this is what the hair looks like, highlighted in yellow. And next, we're going to work on... Uh, what she's sitting on. And in general, I, as best I can, I like to work inwards to outwards, mainly because, you know, you're going to be touching the outside edge, your hat here, and so you want to do those last. And so, um, I know you can't see it very well, but she's sitting on kind of this block. And I'm going to do that in Kimple's Mushroom. And just like always, paint it on full strength. Okay, so I painted the block that she's sitting on gray, and then I also did um, the stripes. And you can see it's really sloppy, and that's okay. Now, don't worry about... Um, keeping it too clean. We'll use a product to wipe it all back. So, um, using your rag, start pulling this back. So this is what it looks like pulled back and you can see um, it just got the gray everywhere. And again that's okay. So I'm going to use my favorite product to help pull back some more. It's Americana Drying Time Extender. And just take a clean spot on your ray, put a little bit of it on it. And then just rub it on. Switch to a clean 
party your rag and pull back and just keep repeating this process until you can get it um, as white as possible. Okay, this is what um, her stockings look like pulled back. Now you can see it's I was able to get it back to a nice bright white. And next we're going to do uh, the broom. I'm going to do the bottom of the the broom and first we're going to do it in Kimple's topaz and then we'll go back and highlight it in Kimple's yellow. The broom handle I'm going to do in Kimple's amber. So first we'll do using the topaz, paint it on full strength, and just be sure to uh, get in all the crevices. You can go over the eyes. And then using your same brush, don't even need to clean it out. Uh, do you can do the um, that part of the broom and then the broom handle in uh, the uh, Kimple Amber. So this is what it looks like um, with that coated in Kimple's topaz and then the broom and then I did the book that she's holding in Kimple's Amber. And then, like always, take a rag, clean part of your rag, and start pulling back. And on the broom, you can go in circular motions. It'll kind of just help leave the color on in a nice soft way, and then pull back on the book. And just keep working it. So this is what it looks like pulled back and then using Kimple's yellow a little bit on your rag. Gonna highlight the broom and go you want to go crosswise and then just catch the edges. Then switching to a, a clean spot on your rag, pull that back and it will brighten it up. And do that until you get the brightness that you like. And then I used um, that drying time extender to pull back the eyes and get them back to the white. And I'm going to use that drying time extender on the book, the pages of the book, to pull it back um, just to kind of highlight the, create some dimension between the crevices of the pages. And then in, on the inside of the pages, I'm going to do the same thing. just to kind of brighten them up. For the fire on the pot, we're going to begin do the same thing as we did for the hair. So we're going to start off in orange. Paint that on full strength. Cover it all up, get in all the crevices. And using your rag, uh, pull the orange back on the flames. Using Kimple's yellow, 
I'll go over a little bit on your rag and catch those edges and then switch to a clean part on your rag and pull that back and it'll brighten those flames up. Uh, this is what the flames look like finished. Now we get to do the welcome sign and we're going to do that in Kimple's Teal. And as best you can, you're going to paint all of it except try to keep the letters white. I mean, if you're not able to, uh, the Kimple colors are hard. They kind of do get everywhere. Uh, we'll be able to use that, this product to pull them back to the white. But just as best you can, just try to leave them white. So you're going to paint it on full strength, just like always. Okay, so this is what it looks like, um, painted full strength. And then you're just going to take your rag and wipe it back. Keep switching to clean spots. It'll take a while, but uh, just hang in there. This is what it looks like pulled back, and next I'm going to start working on the letters. I'm going to highlight those in Kimple's Yellow, just have a little bit of it on my rag. Just going to put the color on and then switch to a clean part of the rag. And if this is too hard for you, um, and I, even I might switch over to a Q-tip, and then uh, switch to a clean part of the rag or a clean q-tip and pull back and then just keep repeating this until it, you get it nice and bright. This is what it looks like um, all pulled back and with the letters done in the yellow. I finished up the piece by painting the eyes uh, just white with black in the center and then two little white dots uh, typically in the two o'clock position on each eye, that's the most natural. And so there's eyes there all around, a little white dot on them. And um, I guess that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it inspires you to try out the Kimple Colors. So thanks for watching.